So this um, next film is actually um, not sailing, unfortunately, because as you can see behind me, Summer Breeze is on the hard at the moment. Uh, I'll show you why in a minute. And uh, what we have for you is some paddle boarding, um, a little bit of marine conservation information, and uh, a bit of kayaking to Old Harry's Rock. So it's all down in Dorset on a uh, family holiday we went on recently. And uh, yeah, some interesting things and some beautiful scenery, which uh, I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Summer Breeze has come out of the water because when she um, when she went in, they weren't able to antifoul the keel because the uh, keel, which is a swing keel, uh, needed to be uh, removed and it needed to have a load of uh, rust blasted off it, uh, so it needed to be sandblasted and then it needed to be epoxied uh, and then antifouled and then put back on and it was all just such a big job that um, to get it in in time for the start of the season um, it just didn't make sense and I spoke to the surveyor and the sensible thing was just just get her in the water without it so um, it's the summer now and uh, they've got a bit more capacity in the yard here as well so she's come out and she's had that job uh, started um, so they did that last week and um, you can see they've this is a bulb keel uh, which is actually where the most of the ballast is situated in this bulb keel here and um, what they've done is taken off the swing keel which would be sitting in this space it needs to be done uh, still so it's obviously not on the boat they're obviously working on it um, but it means that uh, I can check on a few other things uh, the anti-fouling which was only done three months ago so you wouldn't expect it to really have had uh, any any real uh, impact of any uh, erosion to that so that that seems to be holding up okay the thing I wanted to check was the anodes of the prop and um, when I got Summer Breeze she only had a one anode here which I replaced this was a brand new anode that went in the water three and a bit months ago and as you can see it's pretty much destroyed she was on Lake Windermere in fresh water before and um, therefore she did not have a, uh, an anode on the shaft here and um, I've since learned that I should have had one on here uh, so I am going to uh, put one of those on today um, as a consequence uh, I'll have to replace this one as well so um, it was lucky in a way that she came out also today uh, we covered this in Greece um, only three and a bit months ago before she went in there's nothing on it and it's it was beautifully shiny uh, before we put the grease on so um, I think that <laughs> I will need to clean this up again as well. I've given that a very very thorough going over with the wire brush and with a little bit of sandpaper and I think I need to sand it again before putting on some thing called Prop Protect. But also to protect the metal, we've got a, a large Macduff anode here, which I'm informed is the, the correct placement of that. It's got slightly aerodynamic features facing forward and it's the recommended inch, uh, well, less than an inch. Uh, it's a minimum of kind of 10 millimeters from uh, the P bracket, which is here. So I think that's in the correct place. Um, a marine engineer has told me that's in the correct place, which is good. And yeah, the prop is looking uh, clean. And we've got another new anode, which is the second one of these after the other one was so uh, blatantly destroyed um, on there now as well.
I might get the pedal board out because it's so, so beautiful. Enjoying this, Mike? Any thoughts? Yeah? Really pretty. Not while I got camera out. Yeah, well, we kind of both need a wee, don't we? I've already been. <laughs> what, since you've been on here? I walked all the way out from Has he been? <laughs> he's just said he's already been for a wee since he's come out. <laughs> I hope not. I've paddled over here with Jessica on the bow. And uh, what have you spotted, Jess? Something I didn't see earlier. What's this? Montague's Glenny. These characterful little fish live in intertidal zones and can often be found in the rock pools here. They are easily identified by the distinctive fringed crests on their heads and the pale blue spots along their bodies. They are not common UK species, although we are lucky to have a healthy population here in Cambridge. The blennies grow up to 8 centimetres in length and they feed predominantly on barnacles. When the barnacles extend their feeding legs, the blenny bites them off. Oh. We've got about eight conservation zones now in general in Baltimore. Yeah, it's really good. Um, and yeah, so we sort of do lots of rare species listing. So we're a really good array, uh, area for undulate rays, which are a type of like, you know, ray, you know, quite cool. Mm -hmm. Um, How far out would you have to go to see one of those, or would they come in? They come in here, you can go like two metres in, and be there. so this is their eggs, the yeah, under the rays. Yeah, I would so call them go, mermaid purses. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's theirs, that's, theirs. that's, that's that species actually as well, oh, so it's wow. quite convenient. Um, but yeah, so they come here, really good area for them, really good area for seahorses at the moment as well. Oh. They're down at sort of Portland area, sea fans down at Portland as well. So this is a coral? That's a coral, yes. That's, uh, so you know how corals are generally fought like tropics, like Australia, Indonesia. Okay. Um, there's also a type, different type of coral called cold water corals, um, oh. which is around here. Um, and yeah, so that one there, when they get washed up on the beach all the time, they look like that. Oh, that's so that's what they look like. They sort of turn around and look like trees. Yeah, I would think it's yeah. a tree. Yeah, you just think a bit of washed up wood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, that's, a little, that's a little game, you know, they can get you know, this big, you know, large, but you know, they take, you know, that would be a hundred years, you know, they're such a slow growing species, and obviously you get bottom trawlers, you know, to flip them up. You know those um, barrel jellyfish? Yes. Um, are they, like, st do they sting? They don't sting unless you put your hand right up in the bell. Okay. So <laughs> they, <laughs> yeah, don't go shoving your hand up, you know, jellyfish, but uh, anyway. But, um, I've seen loads on the beach. Yes, no, they're really cool. So those are obviously, yeah. as a, you know, official, don't touch them. Um, because you know you never know. You Are they dead know. when they're washed up? Generally, yes. Yeah. Green fingered Mike has gone to get the beers. I'm sat on the paddleboard. We're going to have the beers on the paddleboard. You're a hero and a legend, and you're getting very wet to give me my beer, which is excellent. It's lukewarm. Now, when we're on summer breeze, we do boat beer reviews. This this is pretty much a boat. So, uh, should we do a series of boat beer reviews here? Boat beer reviews. What beer have you got there? Dorset Blush. Which is Dorset Blush. Which is very uh, so that's, that's, that beer is a cider. It is a cider. Okay, well, that's do you want to good. taste it and tell me what you think? Obviously, it's warm, is it? it is does it recommend it's Does it recommend it served warm? Because it is sparkling. Yeah, that looks it. Okay, so it's sparkling. What, what do you say? Fruity? It's very fruity. Okay, how would you give it out of five stars? It would be a lot better if it was cold. Right. If and you were taking a video, I would have got something less girly. <laughs> uh, well, this will help you, Green Finger Mike. This is a cocky Dorset IPA, which you got for me, which is a man's beer, isn't it? It's a pedalite. Um, so what does that taste like? You can do a proper boat beer review of that. 
Piddle is a place in Pool Harbour, by the way, uh, off of the river. I think it's off the River Frome, actually, or it's, it's near Pool Harbour. Nice. Is it a bitter? He says, try me with the barbecue, he says on the back. I wouldn't barbecue with beer, I don't recommend it, uh, unless you're drinking it. Very nice. Mm. Frothy. Uh, very frothy. Um, but uh, I think it's quite tasty and it's not that bad even though it's a bit warm so yeah I would give this uh, four, four and a half stars actually mm, mm. yum we just paddle boarded round back to where we are on the beach and uh, we've had the beers all the way haven't we green fingered Mike's got them it's just getting a bit hairy here time to um, jump off green fingered Mike safely with the beers Whoop. Whoop. Okay. Right. hey hey He loves that bacon. He's strong. He's strong, yeah. Come on, isn't he? He looks like a Cornish crabber. Oh. What do you think, Quaver? Oh dear, didn't like him. This one's called Dave. Chaz and Dave. Bye, Dave. There you go, Dave. See you later. Behave yourself. Off he goes. Studland Bay again. Um, who have we got with us this time? Girl. Yeah, we've got these um, reprobates, Jessica yeah. and Lucy. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not doing any paddling. Quite a few uh, kayakers here already, um, but yeah, it's quite safe to land here. It's better when the tide's out and there's plenty of easy access on the beach here. This, I've got to wade through all of this stuff now to get back, but it's quite easy. There's steps, sort of. Sludge, nearly stacked it, or rather, did stack it. Not very sensible. My job this evening is to put on this stuff. Some sort of, well, some people call it snake oil for the prop, which um, is a shame because I've, I know this stuff is going to make it really pink and horrible looking. Uh, that's the idea. That's what it's supposed to be like. And of course I spent ages cleaning it, so <laughs> I've got to make it dirty. Um, the first thing I've got to do is to uh, actually take sandpaper to it, which I don't like doing either, but that's necessary for this to uh, be properly applied. Um, it needs to be warm as well. So I'm hoping a few minutes in there will do it some good. 
I don't know if this is a good idea melting plastic like this, but I've done it now. Now I think this is about as done as I can reasonably expect. So. Oh. Yes, I think that's more the consistency. There's just a crust on top, which I think I can get off. Very pink. Like I said, something out of Ghostbusters. It's a bit crazy. Really hope you enjoyed this video. We had a lot of fun making it. Uh, if summer breeze makes you feel fine, then tap to subscribe. Mm -hmm.